Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of the coordinate plane, specifically how we can reflect objects across either the x or the y axis and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we want to have uh, just a pretty standard quadrilateral here, so let's just do a parallelogram. So let's just do a parallelogram here. And what I want to do is I want to see what happens when I reflect this across both the x-axis and the y-axis. All right, so we're going to label these points A, B, C, or D. And we're going to go ahead and plot them because there's actually a rule. So A is going to be 5, 2. And what we could do is while we're plotting these, we can actually look to see how they're going to transform. So there's two different ways that we are going to reflect this. So if we want to reflect, think of it like a mirror. Reflect across... Let's say we want to go the x-axis first. All right, so we want to flip it down. So it's going to flip down there, the x-axis. Well, what we do is we take our x and y, and we kind of follow this rule here. So the x stays the same. We're not sliding it or rotating or anything. The y simply becomes flipped. So if we that take it positive to negative or negative to positive, Right, then that's going to change it down to that bottom section. So that means A prime is going to be 5, and we just simply go negative 2. All right, so let's go 5, negative 2, and you see it kind of building already right there. So A prime. And then so B is going to be, let's see what we've got, 7, 2. So we're going to follow this rule here, B prime. We're going to keep our 7 the same. And we're going to change it to a negative y, so it becomes a negative 2, so that's b prime. That's where that line's going to go. So c is 5, 4. So it's pretty simple here. We're going to keep our 5, change the y to a negative. So it's going to be 5, negative 4, so it's going to come right down here. And that's our c prime. Going to slide that right up there. And then D is 3, 4. So we're going to slide that over to D prime. And that is going to be 3, negative 4. So 3, negative 4. There's my D prime. And so as you can see, we've got a pretty good reflection because we're reflecting it right across our x-axis. It looks like a mirror. At least that's what it's supposed to act like. So what happens if we want to reflect across the y-axis? Reflect across the y-axis. Well, you probably guessed it. If our transformation across the x-axis simply made us change uh, the y to a negative, well, we're going to do the same with the x coordinate. We're going to keep our y the same, make the x a negative, right? So we've already got our a, b, c, and d. We're going to take our original right up there. And so we're going to take our 5, 2, and now I'm going to make a double prime. And I'm going to make a negative x, so negative 5, 2. So negative 5 is going to be 2 right there. So that is going to be A double prime. So now I've got 7, 2. It's going to go to B double prime. And it's negative 7, 2. So it's going to extend it back this way a little bit. This is B double prime. And obviously this time we are reflecting across that Y axis. So C is 5, 4. And that is going to become C double prime. That's negative 5, still a positive 4 for the x. So let me see. We got that 5, 4. That's c, double prime. And d is going to be 3, 4. That goes to d, double prime, negative 3, 4. And so there we go, d, double prime. And that's how you reflect.